I've not found a simpler and more effective way to help me design training and presentations than the ROPES model. I've used this model to help me create lectures, e-learnings, and instructor-led training. And in this video, I'll share with you the phases of the ROPES model, which if used, can help keep engagement and retention high with your learners. The ROPES model stands for Review or Relate, Overview, Presentation, Exercise, and Summary. Each of these represents an important phase as you consider training design. Let's go through each of these. When you're starting a session, you'll want to review or relate the topic with your learners. You'll review prior knowledge with your learners if this is a session that's continuing from a longer training. You relate your topic to your learners either way. The goal in this phase is to gain their attention and making them want to learn the upcoming topic. You'll want to give them the why of the training. Make the topic seem exciting or interesting, or at least important to them using stories, discussion, or asking questions. If I were facilitating a training on the topic of this video, I might pique your interest in the topic by asking, what are some obstacles you have experienced to keeping learners engaged? Nick Shackleton Jones writes that learning is driven by the things one cares about. So right at the beginning, you want to relate the topic to them in a way that will help them care about the topic so they'll want to learn. The facilitator's role is like that of a high energy MC that gets everyone excited to join in on the learning. The second phase is overview. The goal of this phase is to inform learners of learning objectives. You'll also share a schedule, agenda, or outline of the class so they know what to expect. When learners know what they're about to do, it can help reduce anxiety, which helps them learn better. Not only will you give an overview of the class schedule, but you can also give an overview of the topic as well. If I were giving a training on ropes, I would start by giving them an overview of the entire model before digging deep into each phase. The facilitator's role here is a pilot that gives a high altitude view of the class and topic. The third phase is presentation. This is the heart of the model. During this phase, you'll present the content through creative explanations. Using well thought out and creative visuals can really aid in your presentation here and should be given significant effort. Explain your visuals with timely narration. Make sure your visuals are consistent and relate to what you're saying, or they will detract from the learning. Use creative and real world examples and illustrations to keep it interesting. Break content into five to 10 minute content blocks or interweave exercises with content blocks to keep their attention. Beware becoming a sage on the stage and lecturing beyond the appropriate limit for learning retention. The facilitator's role here is that of a master teacher. I recommend weaving the presentation phase with the next phase, which is exercise. It is important that the learner do what I call playing with the content through learning practice. Just as children learn about their new world through play, learners need to do the same thing. We must create learning exercises to facilitate these learning experiences. Using real job scenarios in training is very important. Role play, simulations, games, group projects, group discussion, and reviewing case studies are all examples of exercises that can be incorporated into a learning session. It is also important that you give real feedback to the learners to ensure the right learning is getting done. Playing with the content through exercises, learning science has shown, is a significant ingredient to learning retention. The facilitator's role during this phase is that of a guide that walks learners through the learning exercises. The final phase is called summary. Yes, in this phase you summarize what has been learned, giving a succinct and memorable takeaway, but also you can use this phase to assess learning through games and quizzes. Quizzing is not just for assessing, it's a great tool for helping retention. Quizzing can be a useful tool throughout the learning session, not just at the end. But yes, this phase is about ensuring that learners understand the content that they are required or being encouraged to know. If it's a job training, you want to ensure that the content has a smooth transfer to the job by ensuring that they're familiar with how to find all job aids and resources. The facilitator's role here is an inspector that finds evidence that effective learning has taken place and all learners are equipped. Well, that's the ropes model. Just like there are many ways to tie a knot, just make sure you have a way to design an effective learning experience. Maybe this one can be helpful to you. 